So Glenn, first time on the track in Fury. How did Prologue go? Because I know Prologue's not your favourite place. Yeah, finally I'm actually happy with our Prologue. So uh, I think we're sixth out of the side-by-sides. But on any other race, yeah, that would have been a third. Um, there's a, couple of, a lot of fast local guys and they're just intermixed in that, that just above us, which they're yeah, more than happy with. So finally good to get a good one. Yeah, now this track is used quite a bit by the local guys. So there is a bit of local knowledge from all the WA teams. Yeah, if they, uh, look, like I said earlier, if they finish, they're going to really throw a cat amongst the pigeons with the points and that. So it's going to be important just to be consistent and stay, try and hold our, our guard and just see what happens with them. And uh, yeah, it's going to put a lot of pressure on us four that are fighting for the championship. Really, it's going to put pressure on everybody because if some of the local guys who haven't been competing in the, in the whole series take points away from you guys, really throw a cat among the pigeons. Yeah, yeah, look, it's, um, it'll just be, and it's the same for all four of us, one slip up and, you know, you'll be a long way behind in the points. I think most of these guys, local guys, will finish, they'll be going hard, and they're, they're well within a chance of being outright, so same old, same old, we've just got to make sure we're always there or the next best ready to pounce on that sort of thing. And in terms of the car, how's the car performing? Yeah, car went really good, we've still got a slight issue with the clutch, we've been chasing since our little bingle in Fink, and uh, it's still not right, it won't select... Uh, while the car's running, won't select neutral or reverse. You've got to turn the car off. So we still haven't resolved that problem, but so long as I don't run off the road and keep going forwards, I don't have to worry about it. As usual, a short prologue. Tomorrow we've got a 120k lap. What's going to be the strategy for you and, and Dale? Yeah, look, that was, uh, I, I don't know how long it was. I think it might have been 10k's, and it was hard work. So 120k loop, we're going to know that we've done it. But uh, just be consistent. We put in a good time today so that'll put us around the right people that we should be with so with a minute gaps yeah hopefully we should be uh, pretty good to hold our place. Now yesterday you said dust may be an issue obviously when it is 120 k's the opportunity to catch people is certainly there. Uh, yeah yeah and it'll definitely happen uh, it's just going to be a matter of where and when you can pass and you know if they accept the push to pass so but uh, yeah they're games that we'll play tomorrow and see how it goes. Uh, Dale, a, a important step today, getting Prologue right. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, we always say at every event, you know, it doesn't make too big of a difference and we try not to put too much emphasis into that Prologue um, because it doesn't count as a time towards your, your overall result. But let's be realistic, in a dusty place like this, the further up the field you are, the, the more chance you've got of having a clean run. So, yeah, we, we put a fair bit of effort into it today. We try to be smooth and fast everywhere and just sort of step it up a little bit from that safe that we normally do. Uh, and I think that's got us in a good position, so mission accomplished with that. Yeah, generally, I'd say the course is fairly high speed. Um, I think the average speed will be reasonably high. Um, there's a couple of big blasts around some fast salt pans and things like that where you cover you know, three or four kilometres in, in just a couple of bends. So, um, yeah, but look, it still does have a mix of everything. It's got some of the whoops and things like that, um, the bumps and dips that we, we have at Fink. Not as regular and as extreme as them, but there's a lot of that sort of stuff. There's a couple of rocky sections and climbs as well where we're going to have to be very careful because we like to run our tyres a little bit lower than most people. Um, and obviously the flip side to that is we need to be careful in the rocky section. So, um, yeah, we've got all that in the notes, that's the idea of pace notes, so um, yeah, hopefully there's not too many surprises out there for us. And not everybody uses pace notes in these events, do they? No, I was just running through uh, the system with another navigator came over and saw me just before and was asking about our system and I just went over and had a look at hers in the car and it's a, it's a very basic system, basically they're plotting a line like you'd see on a, your, your Garmin or your GPS when you're on the road, it just plots a line and they'll drop some you know, exceptional places along the way, some hazards and things like that. But, um, you know, we're from a rally background and we can we can use the, all those tools that we've got and the experience that we've got. So, um, yeah, that's what we do. You also talked about the fact that it's some very fast places in this. Fast is great, but these things have got a top speed, haven't they? They only go so fast. Yeah, we're around that 140. That's, that's all it will do. We run a standard ECU and tune and all that sort of stuff. So... Um, that's about all they do. There is some places where that's going to hurt us at this one, but we get reliability out of that as well, so it's a bit of a you know, flip on that side. Um, but yeah, there is some top speed stuff, like the, the proper trophy trucks and buggies and that here, 
we'll be nudging their top speeds, which are around that sort of two dollar mark. So yeah, we're going to lose a fair bit in those sorts of sections. But um, I don't get a buzz out of that, to be fair. Like it's nice going fast, but the absolute top speed stuff and in a straight line, that's not where I get the fun. My fun's in in the cornering and the hazards and the challenges and. So um, yeah, these are a great fun thing to be in.